that moment when you're recording and you realize you're supposed to be calling your sibling back, but you're like, let me just record one last thing. Having that moment right now. It's a beautiful day, guys beautiful day and that's why I chose this day to come out and do some self-care oh sh so I chose today to come out and do some self-care nicely on the roof with the Sun coming down on me I only chose to do vlog style for right now because when I came out earlier I noticed it was a little windy just in case you guys can't hear me or you know when I'm far away I'm gonna start recording like this so that way the wind does not win today. I haven't saged in a few months. Last time I saged, I was a dread. That was a few months ago. I was feeling great then. I'm not gonna say great. I'm gonna say I was feeling good then. And maybe it could have transitioned into great if I had kept it going on beautiful days like this. So before it gets really cold, I think maybe even in the cold, I'm gonna try to do it more, you know, on the outside and keep up with it year round. I decided to come out in this beautiful day today and sage, clean out all that extra. I've been meditating a whole lot, doing a lot of affirmations more often and I'm keeping up with it because consistency is not just a problem that I have on YouTube, it's a problem that I have in life. That's one of my intentions that I'm working on and moving towards you know what I'm saying? As I get to my higher self. So in my journey of getting to my higher self, I got you guys. I got, you know, my support system. I'm great. And for those of you who are worried, like if I'm not social distancing, I come up here without the mask because as you can see, nobody else is up here but us. It is just us, this beautiful sky and that good air like Dede said. <laughs> well as good as New York air can get. I'm gonna show you guys how I sage. I've uh, researched and done different saging ways to see which one works with my, you know, soul, my being, or whatever. <clears throat> Whichever you feel comfortable, you know, with your higher self, however you address your higher self. What resonated with my soul was the way that I do it now. So if you, you know, wanna try, put it in the comments that you tried that way and we can just go from there. I'm gonna be using California white sage. I bought a pack of three from Etsy. See that? California white sage. Okay, and there's the website. I'm gonna put the website on the bottom on in the description box, just in case you guys wanna get the ones that I'm using. I've had them for a few months and it's not really that bad, but I do understand now why people have an abalone shell because it gets everywhere and it's hard to put out when you want to put it out. Abalone shell is the next thing I'll be purchasing and I'll show you guys. If you guys don't know what it is, I'll show you guys in the next video. But um, we're gonna be using these. I just try to put it out the best way that I can and I'm gonna show y'all how I deal with that. White sage. White sage because it's there's a lot of great properties in white sage. I read about clearing and I've been having a lot of clarity lately, a lot of clarity. So while I feel that clarity in my love and in my life, I wanna use that to keep it going to get all the, and I'm doing it outside and not in the house for everybody that's wondering because in the house, if you don't clean as well as sage the area, then all you're doing is you're cleaning out yourself from the bad, but all the bad is gonna be in your clothes, it's gonna be in your furniture, you know, it's getting a little cold so some people are not having the windows open so it's gonna be in your curtains and I don't want any of that I just want it to you know go out into the universe dissolve recycle and turn into somebody's good energy so this time I have this lighter it's a torch lighter it's better than um, this candle that I was using before because it's really hard to light sage with a lighter I figured out I didn't know trial and error but I get it now this is the old one that I was using. I personally don't feel anything wrong with using the old one that I was using, so I'm gonna keep continuing to burn this one. 
<clears throat> I hope you can hear me. Okay, you wanna light it until you get a nice white smoke. Like that. Okay? And when you can smell it really harsh, or it looks like it's about to catch on fire, don't, you know, don't get scared. You're not gonna burn yourself. It just means you're, you're burning the right amount. So what I do, I start with, you know, my heart chakra right here. And I do it in a circular motion. There's no real reason why I do it that way. I just do it because that's what resonates with me. That's what makes my spirit feel great. Okay. Then I move up, okay, to my third eye right here. Okay. For me, I feel the good intentions i think about everything that i need to and i would like to release clearing it all up anything that doesn't serve you while i'm up here for me I come down to my throat. For me, I, I clear my throat out because a lot of the time, okay, from our throats is what? The voice box. And a lot of the times we say some shit that we don't really fucking mean. So while we're saying the shit that we don't really fucking mean, it's, it's hurting other people and we look like assholes in the mix. So when I sage, I sage right here because that is a problem that I have. And realizing that you have this problem, that is a big step in your spiritual journey. That's why I'm taking you guys on my spiritual journey because while I'm admitting to you in my vlogs, what I'm going through, I hope you're, you know that is jogging someone's memory like, damn, she's, she's right, you know what I'm saying? Just passing it on. And then what I like to do after that, I take it and I, Every body part, you, every body part, cleanse every body part. And what I mean, I'm gonna show you what I mean. Okay, and for anybody who's never used sage, if you hear a popping noise, just like if you smoke weed, that's actually a seed in here. Don't let that scare you. All right, then after you're done with that, when you truly feel everything lifting off your shoulders, that's how I feel, you're done. Your saging is finished. Saging is over. And what I like to do is you can put this out and you can save it for the next time you wanna sage a room in your house, sage yourself, but this is how I sage myself. Make sure while you guys are doing this, you feel nothing but good intentions. Don't be pissed off. If you are pissed off, what I like to do is I'll listen to a guided meditation because meditation is still hard for me. That's another video though. And I calm down, I let the tears flow. And if you have to cry, just cry. 
And once you feel that happy notion, whatever makes you happy, your kids, money, anything, you feel that, start saging because you don't want to sage in a bad mood and you feel like nothing helped you. That's not the goal. Our goal is for us to relax and let go. You know what I'm saying? Okay guys, that's how I sage. That's how I sage myself. This is how I sage me. This is what works for me. Oh, makeup sucks. This is what works for me. Let me know how, if you tried my method, and if it worked for you, and how do you feel after using white sage or what other sage did you use, you know, to help you cleanse. But I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I feel so much lighter. It's not like there was a lot of weight on my shoulders, but I do feel, a big, you know, that's how you're supposed to feel after. Again, thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by my channel. If you are not a subscriber, please like, comment, and subscribe. I have new videos every Saturday, every Saturday. And I'm doing damn good with it so far. Let's give me a high five. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace and love.